I really enjoy eating fish and this recipe is a gratin of cod with prawns. It's a recipe that we make in the cookery school. It's so simple. Now we're an island obviously in Ireland and I think we should really eat more fish because we have it, it's so plentiful. And you know, when you get fresh fish, whether it's cod, haddock, hake, this can be done with all of these beautiful fish. I'm using some loin of cod and I always like to buy it with the skin on. So we're going to layer it up so we are. This is some parchment paper, so there's no bones. Your fishmonger will fill it, pin bone, remove the skin, they'll do all the preparation for you. So this is what we've done here. So this is just with the skin on, okay? I like the skin of fish, but what I'm gonna do before, I'm going to slice a little bit of lime and I'm actually gonna sit and I'm gonna bake this off in the oven. So just be really careful with this, take your time when you're slicing this. I have already one done because it takes about 20 minutes to bake this off in the oven. So nice and thin slices of lime or you can use lemon, works really well. So three or four, I'm gonna put four underneath the fish. So the other half is underneath the other fish. Okay, now, so we just arrange this just on parchment paper. So what I've done with parchment paper, I've just simply drizzled a little bit of rapeseed oil. It's so, so simple. So there's no bones, okay? That's really important. Now, we're gonna put some spinach. I'm gonna wash my hands in a minute when I put the prawns on. So with the spinach, this is some lovely baby spinach. You can use some chard if you want to. Uh, we're going to just place this raw. We're not going to even cook it for this part of the dish. And we're, this is gonna be add a lovely kind of color and flavor to the actual recipe. So just assemble that just so you have your, your cod. Uh, you have your spinach and now we're going to talk about our prawns okay so we have two prawns here two varieties of prawns should i say uh, this one here is my favorite it's a dublin bay prawn known as the langoustine so i've removed the shell removed the little vein that's in them there's quite a bit of work into them these are our tiger tail prawns so whatever prawns you can get whatever's local whatever's in season that's the key if you can get dublin bay prawns they are the king of prawns for me. They're sweet, they're delicious, they're not cheap, but they're absolutely worth every penny. So we would get a lot of our fish in the restaurant from Shellfish uh, Ireland or Shellfish de la Mer, and they're based in Castletown there. Our scallops, our crab, and our langoustines, and also in Mullet Moor, our lobster and our langoustines. So whichever you prefer uh, to use. And remember, you can make this recipe. I'm just gonna wash my hands with some haddock and hay, because it's plentiful. So after you handle any kind of fish, or shellfish, always wash your hands. Okay, so that's the, the second stage. So you have your, your beautiful piece of cod, you have your spinach, you have your prawn sitting on top of that. By the way, if you have a shellfish allergy, you can do this with some smoked salmon, or you can just leave it as it is. So what makes it a gratin? So we're gonna use some of this really, really nice West Cork cheddar. Okay, so this is Adrena cheddar. So it's a really uh, lovely everyday kind of cooking cheddar. And I'm just gonna literally grate some onto it. Now you can use some mozzarella, uh, cheese if you want to, you can use a little bit of parmesan, you can use some smoked cheese, whatever you like. This is what we normally do, a little bit of cheddar cheese. So I've just grated that, move that out of the way, and then we're gonna just get a nice handful and we're gonna pop it on top of the prawns there. So this is a dish you can have all ready to go in your fridge. And as I say, it takes about 20 minutes from start to finish. Well, a little bit more, probably 25 minutes, because 20 minutes in the oven. Okay, um, in the restaurant, we make a uh, chili jam. So there's peppers, tomatoes, there's vinegar, there's soya, there's brown sugar. We make it from scratch. We use it as a little dip for bread. We make it in the cookery school. And I always get the students um, to actually make it and then they can bring it home with them. It's like a sweet and sour sauce. But this is a lovely product from an Irish company called Thai Gold. So it's a sriracha, so it's quite spicy. It's not a sweet chili sauce, it's a hot chili sauce. So remember that, but it's a great product. It's a very clean, natural product, so it is. So we're gonna drizzle this all over our cheese. And then the little squeezy bottle, it just makes life so easy, so it does. Now again, you can make your own, you know, um, chili jam if you want to. This is some fresh pesto, love this. I absolutely adore fresh pesto. So this has some lovely basil, some uh, parmesan uh, cheese in that, some pine nuts, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and some garlic. And who doesn't like garlic? It's so beautiful, it's a lovely fresh pesto. That's it there. So okay, so Genovese pesto. So Italian, and it's uh, even mixed with a little bit of fresh pasta. It's really good. So that's that ready to go in. We're gonna put a little pinch of salt just over it. And this is the really good tip for you. So these are little cherry vine tomatoes. So normally people ask, well, how do you know when your fish is cooked? Normally when the tomatoes are cooked, the fish is cooked. And it really depends 
on the thickness that you get the a piece of cod or hake or haddock, whatever kind of fish you're using. So the thicker it is, the longer it's gonna to take to cook. So the oven is preheated there at 190, okay? We're gonna drizzle some oil over the tomatoes. I already have one done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wilt a little bit of spinach, but that there now from start to finish in the oven about 20 minutes. And I'll take out the, this one and I'll show you how you just press into the center, but how pretty does that look? You have your lovely prawns, you could use some crab, you could use some lobster in that. You have your cheese, you have your uh, spinach there, your baby leaf spinach, and you have your little cherry tomatoes. Just a little drizzle of rapeseed oil, you can use olive oil, it doesn't matter. And at this stage, this can be ready in the fridge, covered in cling film, but just one tip, before you cook it in the oven, take it out of the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes to let it relax. That's really, really, really important. Okay, I'm gonna go to the oven. I already have one done. We're gonna wilt a little bit of spinach. I'm gonna show you this. So uh, the oven is at 119, so it's a nice hot oven. So this one here, talk about, I'm gonna bring it over to you. 20 minutes. So how do we know when our fish is cooked? So look at, first of all, all that lovely uh, cheese is melted, exactly what I want. If you want to get a little bit more browner color, you can flash it underneath the grill. I usually don't do that. So using the point of a knife, we're just gonna go right in here into the center, and we can see that that's flaking away there. That's exactly, it's lovely and moist and it's cooked. So if, the, if it's a little bit firm on the knife, you go into the center of the fish, you know if there's any resistance that it needs a couple more minutes. It's a pretty foolproof dish dish, this uh, dish, a uh, bit of a tongue twister that, because um, you want to keep it really moist and succulent, but you want to make sure that the fish is cooked. Right, I'm gonna show you to cook some spinach. A uh, hot pan, a little bit of butter. Uh, we're gonna put a handful of the baby spinach, so just simply wash that. And you think when you're cooking spinach, God, I have loads there, there should be enough for four or five, absolutely no way. Uh, a pinch of sugar. So this is the way a lady um, chef in Luxembourg called Leah Leinster, she showed me um, how to cook spinach like this. Pinch of sugar, pinch of salt. If you like garlic, you of course can put garlic into that, but you wilt it really, really quickly. You're probably wondering, why do you put sugar into it? It gives a lovely sweetness to the spinach and the baby spinach, there's no need to remove those lovely little stalks. They add a lovely little bit of a crunch and a little bit of texture. Now, when you cook spinach like this, you can do it in a wok. I'm doing it on my pan, okay? So this is my nonstick pan here. So we're just gonna wilt this off here. And then we're gonna turn it off. And really important, what we normally do is put it onto some kitchen paper. So you just empty that out and that's beautifully and wilted there. So let that last little piece go. And then you can fold that up there and that will absorb any excess water that comes out of the spinach. And then we're ready to serve. It couldn't be easier. So we're gonna serve, show you this now. So we're gonna bring over our plate. We're going to just, uh, using probably a fish slice is the easiest. We're gonna get a little bit of spinach, okay? Just to the side. So that's the spinach that we're just after wilting. It's lovely and warm and hot. You can see the steam coming from it. Perfect, okay. So it's really good. Actually, you know what I forgot to mention is nutmeg is really good. If you get some fresh nutmeg and you grate a little bit of that, that works really well with uh, spinach. Now be careful because you want to slide this off. This is the little fiddly part here and it's parchment paper. Okay, so just be really careful lifting this off. You can see that there, you can see the lovely slices of lime. That's gonna give really good flavor to the fish. You could place the spinach underneath, but I'm gonna leave it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my lovely little cherry tomatoes. I always think they're beautiful. So they are over to the side. And then all these lovely juices. So you have this lovely juices here. Don't be afraid to just spoon that all over. You have lots of lovely flavor there. And then normally we'd have our homemade chili jam and a little squeezy bottle, but I'm just using this bottle here. So we're just going to literally put little dots here. So this is the Thai gold. Sriracha, it's a really nice kind of like spicy uh, chili sauce, which works really well. And that's it, it's as easy as that. Eat more fish. This is our gratin of cod with some prawns, wilted spinach, our lovely little cherry tomatoes, and uh, the prawns and the cod for me at the star of the show. Uh, the cheese too, it works so well. Uh, with that, I think maybe a little bit of baby boils, a little bit of mash, some rice, whatever you want, but hopefully you'll try that. So it's a super quick recipe. Try and get the best quality fish you can get, whether it's hake, haddock, uh, or as I'm using cod here and some lovely prawns. So enjoy this and happy cooking.